Hello and welcome back to another Krita video. This is a tutorial of sorts, but not necessarily on any of the features, like cl button clicking and stuff. This is actually going to be about how to customize uh, Krita's comic pages to suit your needs and how they work. Because um, someone commented on one of my videos um, that they would like to know. Unfortunately, the program that they were using, which the name I can't remember at the moment, I'm very sorry, it had like a whole setup on how to make all the panels. So it wasn't as, it, I'm sorry, it was much easier than Krita from what I read about it. But that doesn't necessarily mean you can't do it in Krita either. So I wanted to show you how to approach that. That way, if you want to use Krita and, you're, and you don't want to use my program for whatever reason, you have a way to do it. So we're going to go to New File and go to the Comic Templates. You don't have to, once we go over this, you don't have to use these going forward. You can make your own, obviously. But it's good to use one of these to start with to get an understanding of how this is set up in Krita. And a lot of this is going to be based on the layer features. So I recommend going back to one of my early videos about layers which I will link in the description below if you haven't had the time or haven't taken the time to learn about them because this is that's really going to come in handy with these so I'm just going to go through all of these real quick uh, the European come on, open. There we go. Uh, it has eight panels and the basic setup for each template it's page zero and in that and it's a group so you can you know hide it and expand it and it's all set up the same way you have your mask your sketch your color your ink and then the mask clone which I will show you in a minute what that does so new file the US style now obviously they're just templates I am well aware that not a single comic only has panels like this but if you're doing like quick little things you don't want to worry about it this is a good introduction for you. And as you can see again in the layers, same thing, uh, one group for the page zero in the same layers with the same layer names. And the manga, a little different, different size boxes. The size of the page is a little different. It's got more space in the top and the bottom. And the last one is the waffle iron, which is very small. So if you're doing like really short, less detailed comics, this might be really good for you. Or if you just want to make silly things, you know, like stick figures. Um, well, I mean, you can do more than stick figures, obviously, but this may even be good for storyboarding. Maybe not the right size boxes, but, you know, you can do something with it. Alright, so that's cool. I'm just going to go back and use the manga template just because it's already set up with different size boxes and it's a little easier to show you um, visually what's going on because it's already different. Alright, so we want to, first and foremost, we want to see what these layers are doing. As you can see, they all have alpha inheritance, so they're inheriting the alpha from the mask. The mask is literally just the box with the outline, so in the, in the white infill. These are just basic shapes, so if I turn the background off, you can see that this is filled in with white, and then this has the transparent background. So when we turn these on, this is all going to inherit the mask from here. And I'll show you what that means. Oops, I'm on layer. So it doesn't really matter which one I'm going to be coloring on, this is just labeled for your convenience. So if you're not sure if you're going to be sketching, it's already set up for you. But it really doesn't matter which one I use to color. So I'm going to be a rule breaker, and I'm going to use the sketch layer to color. So as you can see, it's inheriting the alpha information from the mask below it. Now the only downfall is all those black lines, that border is gone. Not necessarily gone, but being covered up. Because the way that layer is working with the alpha inheritance is it's taking all of this information as, hey, all this transparent, I can't go there, but because there's something here, you know, white, black, whatever, I can color over that, or within that same shape. Now when we turn the mask clone layer um, outline back on, that black border comes back, as you can see. So I can keep coloring, 
and it's not affecting that top layer, which is great. Now, as you can see, this little symbol here, uh, it has like, two pages. It's a different icon than what these are. It's not a vector shape. It's not a normal paint layer. It's not a group. It's something else. It's an actual clone. So what we need to do, I'm going to turn this off. What we need to do is we need to clone this layer here, the mask, which is or the vector shape layer. So we're going to make a new clone layer, and we're going to move this up to the top, and we're going to right-click and... We're going to go to Properties, and we're going to put the Blending Mode as Multiply, and that's it. It's pretty simple, right? And what the best part about this is, because these are vector shapes, you can edit their size and everything with the Select Shapes tool. So I'm going to click on this. I'm going to scale it down. So the reason this is happening is because the clone layer is linked to that first layer that I cloned. So no matter what I do to that layer, it's going to happen to the clone layer, which is really awesome until I delete one of those layers and break that connection. So it's pretty, pretty awesome, I think. Oops, let me turn that off. <laughs> let me just delete that original one so we can see that layer eight, the one I just made, is actually working. So and this is cool, but what if you want to duplicate that shape? So just click on it with your little arrow icon that select Shapes tool. Hit Control C for copy and Control V. And just enter when you're done moving it. That's it. So the nice thing, it's still in the same layer. Um, I can still move and stretch it. It's still uh, affecting the alpha, or the alpha inheritance. It's still being affected by it. Nothing's really changing. Um, I guess I don't want to say procedure, but it's I can't think of the word. The thing technically is changing that is going to tell Creative that hey, this isn't working, or hey, this is going to break. So I can just go here all day long and paste as many boxes as I want. And I can even go outside the border, like outside the original template if I want. It's still not going to change anything. As long as I leave this mask alone and I don't try and, you know, edit anything, which I can't because it's on a paint layer anyway, um, then I'm good to go. And as long as I keep the alpha inheritance on these, I'm also fine. Because obviously, by taking it off, I lose that nice auto mask feature. And that's pretty much it for your comic pages. Now, obviously, when you're done with that, you can always duplicate the group. So now I've copied page one. So you can go back and hit page one. You turn that off and then go back and start tweaking things to your heart's content. Now, with the comics manager, if you don't want to save all your pages in the same file, you can go ahead and save them as separate files. And let's open one of the projects I did before. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Look at all of these. I like Castor Elderberry. We'll do that one. It's just, it just sounds so pleasant. If you don't know what this is, you can go and check out that video, which I will also link in the description below. Cool, so we want to add a page. It's going to be saving. So it's already added. And we need to add this current page. So you have to close. So I can leave that there. So I'm just going to save as up. Go too far. Go to the wrong folder. And then go to the wrong folder again. Oh my gosh. There it is. Catch your elderberry pages. And I'll just save this as page 4. So now I want to add the existing page. There we go. Yay! We have our comic. Look at that. It's so beautiful and that's it sorry <laughs> that's that's pretty much it for it customizing your comic page and, and how you can go about making the panels and before I forget you need to make we I need to show you how to make your own little mask thing here so we're just going to make a vector layer we turn the mask off and then kind of turn that off for now these shapes 
make if you want to use them for the comics comics for the comic pages you need to make sure you make that vector layer first and you're selected on it because if not it's not going to read as a vector it'll read as part of a paint layer so I'm just going to click on the box go to tool options uh, for the fill we want to use the foreground color which should be white and the outline we want it to be the brush. Well, we'll just say no outline for now because we can add that in after. Alright, so we're going to click and drag for the box. I forgot I have this on. Let's turn that off. Alright, and then we're going to uh, go back to our select shapes tool. Click on the, the white box that we just made. And we're going to go to the line tool. And we're going to turn the, that on by clicking the solid box here. And it's already by default selected to the black and that's all you do now you can go ahead and continue to make more boxes uh, I don't know we'll just make this like a crazy box comic thing like you know like some pages are super dramatic and all over the place which is fine I guess that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna make them super dramatic and all over the place Not even properly spaced, that's fine. And now we're going to turn, so as you can see this mask that we did before, the clone, is no longer working. So I'm going to keep that off and I'm going to make a new one based on that vector layer that we did. Because that way it's like kind of, it's, um, oops, it's linked, linked up. So we're going to clone it, we're going to go up, and now we should be able to turn this on. And... Uh, why are you not showing up? Oh, I had to put multiply. Oh my gosh. Properties. Multiply. There we go. Now it's working. <laughs> Sorry. So that's so I just made my own comic page basically. That's it. That's all that's really to it. The comics manager, the vector shapes tool, and the layers features are three videos I will link below in the description to give you more info on what's going on and if you have any other questions let me know any comments if you have uh, another type of video you want me to make let me know in the comments below as well I'm very open to those or maybe your question will actually be a really good uh, video to make which is how this one came about Make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, my support links are also in the description below. And I will see you guys in the next video.